Hello friends, welcome to Apni Paatshala. Well, in today's session, we're gonna study about linked list. See, I'm not going to focus on like what is basics of linked list and all that you can get into different YouTube channel. But our main focus would be like how we can implement a linked list. The entire this session would be based on programming the linked list, the basic programs. Actually, the students nowadays fear a lot about the programming. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the linked list, but we will start the basic programming of a linked list. So what is a linked list? Linked list is basically a data structure, right? So linked list, a single linked list, a doubly linked list, circular linked list, and doubly circular. We have this four type of linked list. And then when we have one more, which is called as a generic linked list, which can have the nodes comprising of integer characters, your floats and all. So what we will be focusing on today's session would be a single linked list. So in a single linked list, what happens? Like, let's suppose this is your structure, right? So your structure is basically divided into two parts. And let's suppose the name of the structure be node. Let's suppose the node is nothing but your name of the structure. And the structure is divided into two parts. This part is information part, which contains the data. And second part is a link part, which contains the address of next node. So let's suppose the address of this node or this structure is 100. And we have one more node. Then let's suppose we have one more node. So we have three nodes. Now when you combine these three nodes, it makes a list and that is called as a linked list. Right. So your structure is basically divided into two parts. First is info part which contains data. Second is a link part which contains the address of next node. So let's suppose the address of next node is 200 and let's suppose the address of this node is 300. Now we will link this nodes. How we link? So let's suppose the info part contains data. Let's insert few data here 10, 20 and 30. Now, in order to link these two nodes, they just like a handshaking, nothing else. So what link is required is nothing but it should contain the address of next node. So if it contains the address of next node, it makes a handshake. It's simple a linkage. Similarly, it will have 300 in link to the last node. And let's suppose if I want to make this node as the last node, then the link part of this node should be null. It indicates the ending of a link list. And then there is a first pointer or different notation you say. It can be first, had or start. So this is your variable. It always points to the first node of a link list. Right. We're not going to move this first pointer. Let's suppose if I want to print the value 20, I'm not going to move the first pointer to this address. What I will do, I will take one more pointer assign the address of this first pointer to that pointer and will move that pointer but not the first this first pointer will always be pointing to the very first node of a linked list right so let's define the structure so how to define the structure so what is the name of the structure the name of the structure is node right and now to define a structure you have a struct as a keyword struct node right so this structure containing what it is containing two member one is your info and another one is your link so let's write let's write info being the first member and link is your second member this is your structure so what is the data type of this info it is a simple integer so it will be int info and this is address so this link has to be a pointer because only a pointer can hold the address right so now one important concept comes here like this 200 this block 200 is containing the address of what? Is it containing the address of integer? Or it is containing the address of this link part? Or it is containing the address of one complete structure? So as you can see, this 200 is nothing but the address of one complete structure. So the type of this pointer has to be a struct type and the name of the struct is nothing but it is node. So link is a pointer which is pointing to your structure. So the important concept here is when the member of a structure, this link is a member of the structure, right? So when the member of structure points to the structure itself, it is called as a self-referential structure. You have trees, you have graphs, you have link lists, all are the examples of self-referential structure. And then you have your structure variable, which is first to so struct node star first. And remember one thing as you know already know that you cannot initialize the members of structure directly it's an error what you can do you can like make a variable of the structure and this variable will access these members in case if the member in case if the variable is a pointer variable what do you do an arrow operator to access the members in case 
if it is a normal variable you use simple dot operator but in my case it's a pointer variable so what we will do we will use the arrow operator to access the member so here I'm just writing a small program, the very first program. I'm assuming that the linked list is already created. I'm not going to tell you in this session how to create a linked list. What I'm doing, this linked list is already created and you are applying various functions to get the task performed. So now my first, first basic program, I want to display the linked list. Like I want the values like 10, 20, 30 to get printed on the screen. So what you will do, let's make a simple program, right? So what we are doing, we are making a simple function like void display to display the linked list. And I told you that you're not gonna like move the first pointer or hat pointer or start pointer since it's always pointing the very first node of a linked list. So what we will do, we'll take one more pointer like suppose the PTR is your pointer and the type of this PTR is struct node. Because the pointer which you will be using in trees, graphs and linked list, they all will be of type struct now so you want your ptr to initially point to 100 then only you can traverse right 100 you know is what the value of your first variable so that first which is 100 you're gonna assign it to your pointer variable ptr so now your ptr is pointing at what 100 now use the simple concept of loop to traverse now let's suppose let like compare it with a simple loop what you do in a simple loop you initialize the variable like int i is equal to zero that i have done i have initialized my pointer to the address of the first node then there's a condition let's like suppose you want to print the values from one to five what do you write like i less than equal to five right so here you're gonna print the values from 10 20 30 till your linked list ends right and linked list ending means there is a null in the link part of last node so what are you gonna do? You're gonna run a loop like suppose while Jab tak tumhara PTR null nahi hota While your PTR is not equal to null You're gonna print some values Take it. Right now your PTR is pointing at 100 And 100 is not equal to null Your condition is true So when the condition is true You're gonna print the values See how you're gonna print the value See 100 is nothing but 100 is a way Why which you can reach to this 10 And you can reach to this 20, 200 so 100 info is 10 and 100 link is what 200 and you're going to print this info part so what you will do you will simply write printf and since it is integer you will write percentage d comma ptr because you cannot directly access the member i cannot even write an info here that's an error because info is a member of a structure and only a variable can access that member so what you will do you will write ptr arrow info since your ptr is a pointer variable and if a pointer variable access the members of a structure you will have to use the arrow operator now one thing first for so it gets what happens 10 gets printed now compare again with the simple loop you want to print the values from 1 to 5 after printing first value let's suppose i equals to 1 i less than 5 you're printing the value i then what are you doing you're incrementing i plus plus so that at one time the condition becomes false so in this case right now your ptr is pointing at 100 now you want your ptr to point to 200 so that the info part of this 200 20 gets printed on the screen so how you reach 200 it's very simple that ptr arrow link is nothing but it is 200 and you're going to assign this 200 to your variable ptr so now the ptr is equal to ptr arrow link let's run the loop once again so ptr initially is 100 100 not equal to the condition is true printf 100 info which is 10 ptr is equal to 100 arrow link now ptr moves to what 200 now your ptr is pointing at what 200 so now again the loop runs 200 not equal to the condition true 200 info is what 20 a ptr moves to what 300 300 not equal to null condition true info print says 30 ptr moves to null so null not equal to null condition falsify and you will come out of the loop so once you come out of the loop you simply finish your function that's it so it is printing what 10 it is printing first 10 it is printing 20 and then it is printing 30 so this is the very first basic principle what we will gonna do in this link list playlist like we are gonna run like various 30 basic programs so that your concepts or basic linked list programming is clear then after that what we're gonna do we're gonna check various questions or maybe we gonna solve various questions on code forces hacker rank related with linked list because linked list is a very important topic for the product based companies like google amazon goldman sachs direct or all these companies they focus a lot on linked list 
तो थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर गुड बाय एंड हैव अ नाइस डे